Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about 15 kW off grid BB battery system in MATLAB. So, this is a simulation model developed for a 15 kW off grid BB battery system. So, this system consists of PV array. So, here you can see that PV array, the single PV array power rating is 193 watts and then voltage will be 28.94 volt and then current is 6.68 amps and here the single string uh, having uh, 26 panel in series total parallel string we are consider here is 3 okay and then here you will see that the IV and PV characteristics of the the consider PV array here for 1000 watts, uh, watts per meter square the power generation around 15.08 kilowatts and then voltage will be 752.4 volt and then so this is going to be connected uh, to the battery via this uh, dc dc converter so here you will see that so here we are using buck converter okay so by using buck converter we are going to step down the voltage from 752 the battery require voltage okay so here we are using buck converter and the buck converter going to be controlled by means of charger controller so here you will get the charger controller the charger controller receive the pv measurement so here you have to uh, take only pv voltage and current so based upon pv voltage and current you have to generate the duty cycle the duty cycle will be processed via petroleum generator so this petroleum generator used to for control this buck converter okay so here we have a diesel capacitor and then here we have battery so battery rating is so here we are taken 42 into 12 so that means so 42 into 12 which is equal to so 42 into 12 which is equal to 504 volt the voltage of the battery here we are having 504 that means we are connecting a 12 volt battery 42 double load battery in series so we are making that uh, uh, voltage level is 504 and the rated capacity of the h battery will be 200 h okay so by using that uh, buck converter we are converting the voltage from 750 to uh, 504 volt right by using this uh, buck converter and also this buck converter used for extract the maximum from the pvri and here we are making one uh, circuit breaker so this circuit breaker will be operate based upon two condition so that condition nothing but so here we are checking that condition when power of pv is less than 300 and then pv voltage less than 50 volt so then uh, system that means uh, the pv array system will be disconnected from the system or else it will be connected to the system okay so far from uh, based upon this control logic we are connecting the uh, PV array, right? PV array uh, to the battery. Okay, uh, that means uh, during uh, daytime the PV array will be connected uh, with the battery for charging and supplying the load. During nighttime the PV array will be disconnected from the system. Only battery will be used for uh, supplying the DC load as well as AC load. Next here we have DC load. So here we have a different kind of DC load. Uh, for different application right that means DC uh, uh, load application like LED down light, LED pattern light, get, uh, gate light right so wherever we are using DC load so we are, we are taking this power from the battery and here we have the inverter right so inverter which is used for converting uh, DC quantity to DC quantity uh, as per the DC load so here we have inverter so this is inverter single phase inverter and then this is lc l filter okay so this inverter going to be controlled by means of inverter control so here we have ac load so here we have a different kind of ac load like washing machine refrigerator ceiling fan air conditioned television tv system water pump water heater water filter rice cooker blender iron iron box microwave oven right cct camera so we have the different kind of load here and then uh, here we are measuring the load voltage and then he and uh, inside that inverter we are measuring the uh, the inverter current okay so based upon that we have to control the system so here we see that right 
the load voltage right load voltage will be converted into apc that means abc alpha beta not will be converted into q not and then so here we are generating the generating the uh, reference current right uh, omega t right here you will see that right so the omega t generated based upon that uh, reference voltage so here you will see that the reference voltage will be one magnet that means so here we are converting that voltage into per unit value right so that's why we are generating the reference uh, omega t uh, that means uh, in the uh, one per unit okay so finally we will get the reference voltage here so the reference voltage in the dq not form so this axial voltage in the dq not form again it will be processed via PA, pad controller so the pad controller will be generated the uh, reference current in the dq not form and then it will be converted into <laughs> abc form so here we will take only a quantity and then here we have that inverter right so inverter current going to be converted into uh, per unit right and then it going to be compared with the reference current okay and it is going to be processed by pa controller and the after the pa controller pa controller will be generated the reference current sorry reference control voltage so it going to be processed via uh, sinusoid equilibrium generator so this will be used to for control this in water okay and here we have in water control and then we are generating the uh, 60 gates ac supply okay so next uh, here you can see the measurement block right so here you can measure the different quantity pv measurement and battery measurement ac load measurement dc load measurement and then here you can AC load RMS that means we load on the I inverter current in the RMS value okay and here I am going to weigh radiation right every 0.2 second uh, in order to simulate the uh, real time scenario that means it is change from 0, 0 to uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.71 and again comes to 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.2 so it is like uh, simulating the real time scenario concept right so based upon that real time uh, change in irradiation radiation so what's the effect in the system uh, waveform the change in waveforms like uh, how the pv voltage is changing how the battery voltage current is changing so what about the ac load in details okay so here you will see that uh, pv voltage pv current pv power battery voltage battery current battery power and soc of the battery so here you will see that ac load voltage ac load current and the ac load power and here you will see that dc load voltage dc load current and dc load power and then so here you will see that ac load rms and ac load rms current okay so now i am going to simulate this model so here you can see that uh, as per the irradiation uh, right the pv power is zero initially now battery right during that starting time so there is no power from the pv right battery will supply the power to the load okay uh, for a dc as well as the ac load and then now you can see that now uh, the pv is generating power with the increasing radiation okay it's increasing radiation because of that uh, battery will be comes to uh, charging mode that means it will be changed to charge and uh, discharge into charging mode and then well, once the PV power is uh, decreased from maximum to minimum right then battery will be comes to uh, charging to discharging mode to supply the AC load DC load so here you can, you can see that <laughs> this is AC load voltage this is AC load current so both are sinusoidal and then this is AC load power so this is a DC load power so here you can see that so based upon that uh, PV power variation the battery also going for charging and uh, sorry discharging and charging and then again go, goes to discharging okay uh, this is uh, known as off grid uh, pv battery system so solar pv and battery used to for supplying that uh, uh, ac load as well as dc load without uh, having the grid integration thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and, and also and click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye